So I'm going to expect that you can evaluate the effects of visceral motor innervation, sympathetic innervation or parasympathetic innervation on various characteristics. Let's look, let's speculate. How does the sympathetic response affect heart rate? You see a bear, dogs, your heart rate increases. How does parasympathetic system affect heart rate? You see a teddy bear, dogs, and your heart rate decreases. How does it affect your breathing rate? Sympathetic, you see your grizzly bear, and your breathing rate increases. Why? Because you see your bear and you are anticipating, I'm probably going to have to run away from the grizzly bear, and so you're going to need more energy to do this, and so you breathe faster so that you can get more oxygen in so you can get more energy. When you see your teddy bear, you feel happy and cuddly, and you, your breathing rate slows down because you're just going to cuddle with your bear. You love your bear, your teddy bear, that is. When you see the grizzly bear, what happens to your pupil size? Your pupil size increases. Your eyes, your pupils dilate. Why? Let in more light. Let in more light so you can see more, so that if that grizzly bear has its ears forward, you're going to know what to do, because if its ears are back, it has to do something different. And if you're in parasympathetic land, you can relax. You can have nice, tiny little pupils. I actually don't know why that would be beneficial to have tiny pupils. Maybe it just means that you're more relaxed. You're not going to be quite as alert to all the light around you. If you see a grizzly bear, are you going to be like, oh, this is a great time to digest the turkey dinner that I just put in there? No. <laughs> You're going to be like, let's save that turkey dinner for later and run away from the bear first. In fact, that's one of the reasons why don't go swimming after you eat a meal because your body is going to have all that food in your gut and you're going to say, I want to digest but now I'm going to go out and go swimming, like with sharks and stuff. And so you're going to be using lots of energy, and your body's going to say, hey, we're using energy, so let's send our blood to the skeletal muscles instead of to the stomach to digest stuff, and you're going to get a tummy ache because now you've got all this food sitting in your stomach without digesting it, which is a little uncomfortable. Hopefully you didn't just eat a turkey dinner before you're about to get eaten by a bear because that would be a little uncomfortable. But the parasympathetic nervous system says, let's digest that turkey dinner. Tryptophan makes you tired. Go take a nap while you're at it. Now, interestingly, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems play different roles in reproductive action. Arousal is uh, initiated and maintained by the parasympathetic nervous system. So the parasympathetic, whatever that was, sends all the messages that life is good, let's make some babies, this will be really fun, and you get ready and get all fired up. The sympathetic nervous system comes into play during climax. So during orgasm, it's the sympathetic nervous system that creates all the physiological things that happen at that point in the game. How cool is that? So you actually need both. This comes into play when you're talking about erectile dysfunction because you can have arousal if your parasympathetic nervous system is fine and no climax, or you could potentially be able to climax but not be able to get aroused, depending on who who's got issues. Just get a penile implant. All right. It's been lovely. I will see you later.